Hi, it's Greg. Thanks for listening. I wanted to start to put some information out for people that are beginner investors. We spend all of our time here working with professional, all the way to the top of the heap investors and have for years, but I've got a lot of affinity for people that share the point of view that the way to get financially bulletproof in your life and for future generations is to own as big a piece of America as you can handle, to do it long term, to do it responsibly, but to start. And there is such a get rich quick in real estate sort of element, the kind of the dirty underbelly that I, I've never been the slightest bit interested in. I don't watch the shows. I don't love the fact that Zillow is in all the you know, in all the headlines this week with their instant buyer, instant offer uh, thing, and it's being talked about how Zillow's into flipping. Like, flipping is cool. Flipping is not cool. Flipping is not the way you build wealth in real estate. I'm sorry to all the flippers, but you guys know, and you gals know, that the best thing you ever did in your flipping career is what you kept, right? Tell me I'm wrong. So for the folks that are eager and who buy into the idea of doing a really exciting long-term strategy to accumulate the biggest piece of ownership of America that they can, I want to share one key point, and that is the minute you put 10 bucks in a coffee can, you've begun. The minute you start doing your research, you've begun. The minute you start learning the calculations, learning how to measure yield, understanding the principles, we'll teach all of them to you here. Okay, I don't bring on guests on this podcast yet. I, I'm sure I will, but I'm trying to share with you the stuff that I'm getting from people. I see patterns, okay, I always have, and I recognize the things that people who are great at this do that makes them great at it, and I see the patterns and I share them with you. Doing research, reading about a market you think is cool, right? Like I was thrilled this week to hear more about Chattanooga. Uh, Chattanooga is the new Nashville. I'm thrilled to go back and see some of my old TV and radio clips where I predicted where things were going to be by now specifically with individual markets and I picked markets and it's come to pass that the fundamentals that you can pay attention to what are people doing where are they moving why are they going there why are they staying are the reasons why all that's happening going to continue because population demand equals housing demand and so if you can understand if you're one of those people that has an uncanny common sense you are made for investing in the real estate business for accumulating ownership of America that's what you're made for so don't be impatient about it and know that go get a cup of go get a can of coffee you know dump it out <laughs> and put 10 bucks in it and start doing your research and you have begun all right and stay with me thanks for listening